Wow, this guy is brilliant. 2900 and he wants to play with increment. There we go. Okay. Let's play c4. One more time. But this guy should be a real star, so we have to be we have to be careful. Now we go d4. Admitting the mistake. He plays the king's Indian. We go g3, bishop g2. And he plays his queen a5 line. So what am I supposed to play here? I guess when I was young, I was taught to play e4, queen h5, e5. Okay, he goes e5 himself, which is a bit strange. Can I just play d5, sort of, uh, sort of preventing myself from losing into moves? He takes. Now oh, both things make sense. Okay, let's play ed. So ed is a um, much more double h. So black has some long-term potential with attacking. The king side, we're playing like knight g4, f5, e4. White has ideas um, connected to some c4, c5 breakthrough, and then after d takes, we try to promote the d5 pawn. The d6 pawn is kind of weak um, after both e takes d5 and c takes d5, but I think after e takes d5, white has more chances to to attack it quickly. Like sometimes you play knight d2, knight e4, as a bishop can be developed to like a3 or b4. So you have ideas. He plays bishop g4, which is kind of logical. So now we can play queen b3, but the problem is that after knight d7, we'll um, have to take a pawn just to just to justify all the stuff. Okay, let's just play h3 then. Yes, e4 was a threat as well. Oh, I guess we just take. Yeah, knight fd7 is a smart move, so he's um, preparing f5. So now we have to do something for sure. Like it's either knight b5 attacking the pawn or we go a3 before c5. But it's definitely. Definitely time to act. Okay, let's start with 9b5. I actually don't see a comfortable way uh, for black to defend the d6 pawn. Maybe he plays something like a6, knight takes d6, queen c7. But then we are happy even after knight e4. So it is not about winning the pawn, it's just about. Uh, Eliminating d6, which prevents us from winning the d5 pawn. Queen b6 runs into bishop e3, queen a6 runs into knight c7. So my bet is something like f5 or a6. It's also nice that after knight takes d6, we, we are not even. Uh, too worried about, you know, blundering uh, as a knight and all the lines because even some knight takes f7 followed by d6 or knight takes b7 will always uh, give white a tremendous compensation. Yeah, he plays a6 after all. So I can also include bishop d2 here. Bishop d2, queen b6, bishop e3, knight c5. Doesn't lead anywhere actually. Okay, then I just think. Yeah, he plays queen b4, exactly. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So now I guess we just go knight e4. And uh, yes, he goes the pawn back, but it is not the pawn he really needs. Okay, now I guess we play b3. And then after queen b4, my idea is to play a4 and to follow it up with um, bishop a3. I think it's just bad for Black, to be honest. His pieces are also randomly placed, like he needs his beat knight to be uh, to be on f6. Then it would be just slightly better for white, but with knight on beat, I think it's... Uh, 
I mean, objectively, it should be almost over bishop a3, rook d8, okay. I guess we just play rook c1, bringing the pieces slowly. f5 runs into knight g5, knight g6. And now we, we also have some strange ideas like, I don't know, 96. Or bishop is, yeah, okay, he takes, we take back. Bishop h6. Uh -huh, so he wants to get f5 and prevents 9 g5. This is smart. I think it's a little bit too late. Okay, so now I guess... Uh, once we cannot play 9g5, we play 9d6, right? e4, I think he allows knight takes b7. And then I just go bishop e2. Rook a7. Wow, this is funny. Okay, bishop e2 is still there. just want to play it simple like d6 bishop c4 and so on okay bishop c5 wins an exchange but i don't even need it probably okay let's play d6 attacking d8 yeah this is a blunder okay nice a nice strategic game all right